This is either going to turn out super amazing or like my previous relationship in the trash. Here's the lovely bag. Let's see what inside. No, no. <laughs> it's a white summer dress. Oh, it's pretty long. Oh my God, what? And it is not my style whatsoever. I don't think I own any white dresses. This should be interesting. Wow. I'm getting very midsummer vibes from this. Feels like a lot of fabric. I wouldn't wear this. Well, I'm really excited to work with such a blank slate of a dress and I feel like I can really do a lot of things with this. I love a sundress. <laughs> it's ugly. It's a really soft material. It feels almost like a tissue. <laughs> it's really cute, not really my style, but I'm going to make it my style. I love wearing maxis during the summer. I'm actually really excited to style this. Okay. Woo! This is kind of my vibe right now. I feel like I belong in the movie Midsummer, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It just hides all of my shape. This is doing me no favors. My plan of attack right now is to bring up and in the waist part. I took this bottom part of a sweatshirt I cropped and it's like kind of doing a thing. It's definitely still not a vibe. I put this extra fabric that I have. I think it adds something really pretty and I like the lavender and the white together. I kind of want to draw all over it. I'm gonna unleash some Aries impulse on this dress and draw all over it like I want to. And if that's terrible, I have this decent backup plan. As you can tell, I like color and I like things that stand out. So this is very much not my go-to, but I'm excited to see what I can do with this. I feel like my aesthetic is like alien clown, but let's get this cottage court dress a little more clown. The first thing I'd want to do is very colorful version. Nice look one. I got my sassy glasses on, got my earrings. A friend of mine actually made them. And I've got my studded belt, my docks. I actually really like this. Very different for me. Wow, Mabel's evolving. Outfit too. Might wear this to like a show. Go get food. The more I have this on, the more comfortable I feel in it. Well, my initial thought is I might have to go full summer glamorous beach vibes. And I just realized my stepmom has this massive summer hat, which I think actually would go really well with this. These may be really cool with it. I never usually wear massive heels like this, but I think it's time. Here's the belt. It's just a little scarf belt. So I feel like it could look good around there. I don't know. I kind of look like I live on a little house on the prairie. All right, I love these shoes. They look good with this. This elevates the outfit. Overall, I actually really like how the dress like, you know, it turns it's really like smooth. It's just such a blank canvas that it's kind of overwhelmingly boring. Here's my idea. I wanna dye this dress to really give it a little bit more life. I'm going to take one of these red bands, wrap it around. This is either going to turn out super amazing and wonderful, or it's going to end up like my previous relationship in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> this is the vat. The dress has been washed several times, dried and steamed and ready to be styled for tomorrow. This is a lot more fabric than I'm used to wearing at one time. I'm kind of skimpy. <laughs> I like to feel saucy. I want to feel glamorous and trendy and like, you know, I want to feel cool. It looks like Little House on the Prairie. We are serving boho glam, these earrings and this necklace. I just feel like it looks more expensive and then this is so cute. I look like a celebrity who's trying to hide that they're pregnant, except I'm not pregnant, so don't spread rumors. Now I'm serving Pharrell Williams realness with this hat. <laughs> I just, I can't take my high ponytail down and I wanted to wear the hat. So this was the only way to compromise. 
compromise. It was better in my mind. This is way too simple. No, belting it definitely did help, but I'm bored. No, this is still not it. I'm gonna be real. I don't like any of the outfits that I've made and I did my best with the styling, but none of them look how I want them to look. I'm actually going to have to get crafty and DIY this dress a little bit. I'm gonna try and stitch the front of this onto the bodice. It's kind of going for like a Parisian vibe a little bit. When it's done, it's gonna be real cute. So I have a few different options to work with right now. I could do a blazer with this. I also have this shirt to layer underneath. And there's this one as well with a really cool 70s collar. I feel like that could be a nice detail. But one that I'm really excited about is actually this white shirt to pair with it to do sort of like a monochrome look. I hope that nobody ever sees me in public looking like this because this is awful. The whites are two different colors. It's so see-through and I feel lumpy, I feel gross. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I'm gonna take the biggest shoes that I own and try to make it work. I need some sort of shape. Okay, this is slightly better. I feel like this is the height that you have to be in order to wear this dress. I definitely think that I could do better with this dress. Like this is an option, but I'm gonna try something else just to be sure. Should I do this bag or should I do like a straw bag? I think I'm gonna grab both. Excuse me while we'll, I like, try to fit through my doorway in this. Trying on the dress for the first time and I already love it. Like this is my jam. First try on, I added on this straw hat and some layered necklaces and then just kept it pretty easy peasy and paired it up with some sandals. I realized I made a big mistake. I should have probably steamed this dress and all the wrinkles that it came with and I didn't. And now I can't pull it off because I'm too scared my makeup's gonna rub off on this white dress. We're just gonna make this work. It's a day later. I basically put on a poofy sleeve blouse underneath the dress, popped in some pearl earrings, and I'm kind of feeling it. Like this is the outfit that I can imagine living my best life in a Wes Anderson movie. I really like this dress. I really love the material. I'm digging the length. I think my approach to styling this dress is adding pops of color to it. This is what the dress looks on me, like just by itself. It's very sheer at the bottom. <laughs> I'm getting like lyrical dance piece concert vibe from this. Yes, I've been watching a lot of Dance Moms. So let me pair it with my red Levi shirt. This is what it looks like with this on. It's not my favorite. I don't know why I feel like James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause right now. I kind of want to do something that will accentuate my figure. So we're going to go back to the drawing boards. I own these two belts. I think I'm going to try it with this brown one. Okay, I feel like I'm getting closer. If this dress is just a tad big on me, I might alter it. So I have never altered anything in my life. <laughs> and you know what? My grandma did teach me how to alter things, but my brain said, why do you need to learn this? We're in the 21st century. You don't need to learn how to alter clothes. Guess what, 13 year old Carolina, you do. I think I'm just gonna be basic and pair it with a jean jacket because I literally own nothing that could go with this. This first jean jacket is actually my mom's. It's vintage. I actually kind of like this. The moment I opened it and I saw it, I automatically thought of just like resort wear, going to the beach. Here is the dress. Since I have to style it, I want it to be fitted. What I'm thinking is I want my accessories to have black in them because I want this part of the hat just be cohesive with the rest of my outfit. Those are the two black bags I was thinking of. Those are the flats that I want to wear. I have a piece of fabric here that I could use as a belt. I have this black belt and then I have that belt that's really catching my eye because it matches with my hat. I just think it just goes with the hat. It still keeps the black but also brings out a little bit of the beige from the hat and I have already my flats on which are so cute. They have little flowers on them. Keep it tropical, very resort wear. This is the first bag I was thinking of. I liked it because it went with the flowers on my shoes, but I don't know if I'm 100% on board with this. I do have another one, so I'm going to see how that looks with this. And I was thinking for jewelry, I always say go for gold. That's one of my favorite. It just adds such a beautiful touch to a look. So let me try that out. First and foremost, this isn't bad. I honestly really love from my waistline down. I guarantee you I already got makeup on it somewhere. To be honest, I would wear this as it is and I would just put on a pair of Doc Martens. That is going to be my backup. I feel like I could try to put a leather jacket over this. Oh. I could also try to like tie something over the shoulders. I don't know if I'm that preppy though. This ain't it. 
after much sweating and trying on new things. I'm gonna try to push myself. My goal is to do something a little bit more edgy. I found this like little high neck crop top that I'm gonna put on underneath it. And then I found this belt that I have and then I'm gonna cut this longer part to this tier right here and maybe I'll be able to wear some like fishnets underneath it. Ooh. It's a mini, not bad. For my final look, I really leaned into a summertime vibe type theme. I added big heels, a big hat, big earrings, and then a smaller cheetah print belt. I'm ready to uh, go have some fun in the sun. So for this look, I decided to pair it with this long sleeve polyester shirt and a thick black belt. And these extra large platforms from the 70s. I also decided to wear this extra long bolo tie. Picnic ready. I decided to pair it with my mom's vintage Hard Rock Cafe jacket as well as my mom's vintage BCBG shoes. I also like to pair it with this red little purse. I really like just a pop of colors. I style the dress with a highlighter yellow cardigan and a red pyramid studded belt. These really fun, colorful earrings. And then I had to go with the sassy glasses. Of course, the rainbow pumpkin bag. Final touch are the docks. For my look, I did some line drawings of faces all over the dress, tore off the hem and tied it to cinch my waist in. I added some tortoise shell earrings and some Steve Madden heels I got on sale. I also added this big envelope purse and voila. I'm going with this cottage core look. As soon as I put in this puppy sleeve, I was just like, this is dreamy. I am done. I did a lot of work to this dress. I basically cut off the bottom half of the dress. I also made different layers. So it still has that little peasant chic look that it had before. And on top, I put this piece of lingerie. I added the black waist belt, but my favorite part, I took off the back. So there is no back to this dress. And of course I have a red lip, I have some pearls. I think it's a very sassy, classy look. So I'm really happy with it. I am living this indigo dyed dress. It is so gorgeous. I've paired it with clear jellies, moon earrings, and even braided my hair into a crown like the moon goddess that I am. For my look, I decided to add this wide brim hat some gold and white earrings for some elegance, added a belt to accentuate the waist, added this bamboo art bag for the look of a resort wear, and some floral black sandals to finish off the look. I think it was a good idea for me to cut it shorter. I then put on a mesh turtleneck crop top underneath. I put on a belt with some chains on it, and then I did some really over-the-top black eye look. I put on a black mask with some fishnets and some chunky shoes and my, my budget bag. I am really proud of this look. <laughs> 